Hypertension is the silent killer. More than 75 million Americans suffer from this condition. More than half of those individuals don't know that they have hypertension, and another half have their blood pressure under poor control. Hello, I'm Dr. Marvin Slepian. I'm professor of medicine and associate department head of biomedical engineering, a member of the Sarver Heart Center, a cardiologist, and the director of ACABI, that's the Arizona Center for Accelerated Biomedical Innovation. And I'm here to tell you about a new advance in the area of wearable technologies which can be utilized to measure blood pressure. Measuring blood pressure is a very common thing when you go to your healthcare provider. Clearly the gold standard has been the blood pressure cuff, but even those only give you an intermittent determination. They give you a snapshot. It's like a flash photograph. Even environmental things may play into it. Maybe it's the weather. Maybe it's your temperature. Maybe it's the humidity. Maybe it's the dust. Maybe it's pollution. The reality is that blood pressure is a movie. It's a continuous process, and you really need to understand the dynamics of that, not just an individual picture. But you can't go to the doctor all the time. Today, we're going to show you a new technology, which is a collaborative effort between University of Arizona and Northwestern. We're working on a new approach to be able to measure blood pressure continuously accurately, inexpensively, and innocuously using what we call wearable electronics. Our lab and our group here at U of A has been instrumental in bringing forward motion analysis systems that are now FDA approved. This is an example of a wearable. This is a prototype. This ultimately will look like a postage stamp. So to demonstrate this concept of stretchable electronics measuring pulse wave velocity and the appropriate math calculations to give you continuous blood pressure, we're going to use a system that we have in the laboratory which basically emulates or models a patient. At the University of Arizona, we have been leaders in the development of circulatory assist devices, particularly the total artificial heart. We've applied our electronic on the aorta and the outflow tract of the heart. We can see that we're able to actually see the pressure signal on a continuous basis. It's just imagine, you go to the physician less, you'd have better control, and if unfortunately something went out of whack, we would have an early warning signal that something needed an intervention. They will provide a almost continuous stream of data and lead to better blood pressure management a whole new area of information and science will emerge.